Hi friends, Valerie Shodine here, and I am going to do a project I've never done before, so it's kind of new and you can join me in my experiment. Here are some bee boxes. Now we're having kind of a family affair. Um, our two daughters and us uh, live close to one another and we all live in your basic ranch, mid-century modern style. So one of my daughters is really into bees, so we've gone in together and she is, she is the scholar, so she is taking care of the bees that are coming tomorrow and I get to paint the bee box. It already has a primer and a satin coat of exterior paint. So there's this new stencil, I don't know if you can see, it kind of looks like a waterfall, it has an edge if you want an edge. Fits perfectly this way on like a 12 by 14 gel plate so you can make cool painted papers. But what I'm gonna try here is to paint these bee boxes, you can see them stacked here, in a kind of mid-century modern style using stencils and some paint I haven't tried before. So we'll see how that works and we'll see how it ends up. Thank you for joining me. I'm excited to get started. Okay, you see I have two bee boxes here and I'm going to paint them both at the same time using the 24 by 12 inch stencil here that I designed for Stencil Girl products, kind of a waterfall cascading effect, mid-century modern, using Rust-Oleum's Painter Touch, Ultra Cover Paint and Primer, Satin Finish, a seaside color, and the darker one is the Lagoon. After placing my stencil on the surface, I'm masking off the part that's not going to be sprayed that's covered with the stencil with two sheets of just copy paper. You can use any paper for this and you don't need to tape it down as long as there's not wind blowing it around. I am doing this outside. So I'm kind of learning as I go and you'll see that part. I apologize for my head being in the way. Please just look past that and notice the light sweeping spray motion that I'm using with the spray can. And first I'm spraying with the lighter color, turquoise, which is called Seaside, and then the darker color called Lagoon. There it is. Of course, now I have to do the next part, which is also a little bit of a challenge, but I'm going to now mask off the part I've already painted before I start spraying. As you see, I'm spraying and there's some floppiness with the stencil. Okay, I didn't notice that while I was doing it, but that's because the lesson often comes afterwards and this is how it goes. But I went ahead and did the lighter seaside first and then a light spray of the lagoon. Now you see as I lift that up, it's pretty fuzzy on the top part and that's because the stencil wasn't laying flat on the surface. So it is a kind of live and learn thing. But here as well, I can paint with the background color of the white in where there's been a little bit of overlap. So I'm gonna go in with a small brush and do that. So I'm not worried about that there. The other thing I can do here is because this is really misty, I can go in with some of the lighter sea spray. It's, it's still risky, like I said, I haven't done this before, but I'm gonna try and go in and soften some of the white so the contrast is more like this one where it looks like it's flowing down and the waterfall gets more clear. It worked a little bit. I think I need to go in with my darker one too. Wow, this is ris risky. Okay, see how that fades more to together? I think I'm just gonna do that. I like that, the, the different look of the uh, kind of the fuzzy soft down to this crisp, hey, here we are, this design. And then I'll go in with a little brush, in my background white, and it'll be great. So now the thing is to do this pattern around the rest of the box, but I'll wait for this one to dry. Okay, for this side, it's the other side. Here's one of the bee boxes I decided to put here to hold this up. Then, to cover this up too. So I guess it's a matter of masking here. Let's see if I can get this all straight here. And as long as it's masked off, it should work great, right? <laughs> Let's see. 
I'm probably going to get better at it as I go along. I'm planning to anyway. <laughs> okay, in the dark. an expert. That looks good in the middle. It's a little fuzzy, but that's okay. I'm happy with it. Let's do this. Maybe I'll put the other bee box on that side to fold that up. This stencil up. I'll get that. Go in with the darker there. Okay, I think that's probably good. Let's see. Right. Oh, I'm getting better at it. Okay, here I am again, and I have taped this down with painter's tape, and I'll lift this part up. I've propped this up here, and I'll need to cover this. This is what I just painted, so I'll put, I'll block that off, uh, and, and then start with some Lagoon. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with some green. The rest -Oleum Eden. Oh, I like that green. Let's see how that looks. And I'll need to move it over a little bit. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, of course, this needs to dry. I'm going to put this here this time. It's still a bit wet. So that's how I painted the bead boxes with spray paint. And here you can see them stacked up. And then there's a few others on top, which I followed the same process. To clarify a little, I used the organic pattern of the mid-century modern motif stencil, then sprayed it with rustic orange Rust-Oleum paint. When it was dry, I flipped the stencil over and sprayed it with the Eden Green. The four-pointed star stencil was used to paint the turquoise and orange pattern here with the same spray paint, the Rust-Oleum Seaside and the rustic orange colors. For this top border, I used the smaller bubble edge of the original 24 by 12 stencil that I used. I wanted more contrast, so instead of just using the spray paint I had, I stenciled some golden phthalo turquoise using a cosmetic sponge around the edge. Time will tell if it will stay on the surface or not. You may have noticed the handles are painted in solid colors. 
To do that, I cut a paper stencil, very easy, just out of copy paper, and spray painted them. I think it adds a finished touch. So here's the finished bee boxes. Thank you for joining me, for watching, and I hope you're inspired to create something beautiful, some project that's just going to make you happy and make the world a more beautiful place. Here's the bee boxes, and now the bees are safely at home, and there are even more condos ready for them to move into. Blessings to you as you create.